right here, JTDragby.com. We're making rounds, and I can't get through this weekend and not talk to the man in green, who, by the way, is actually painting some more green on his bike. He apparently doesn't have enough green already. So, how you doing, sir? Not too bad. Felt like this morning I had a little time on my hands, so I would go ahead and hook up my brand new Fast Bike S block that he sent me and got out for me in basically less than one day last week when I had a little bit of a problem. So uh, I decided to fill it in and make it green. So, and of course his artistic skills are shining. <laughs> a little shaky Jake this morning <laughs> with a uh, little, little maybe too much coffee, but uh, yeah, it's, uh, it'll probably look okay. I'm wondering if it'll hold up when the heat gets the motor. But oh, okay, yeah, true. We'll this is regular see. enamel, right? That's what you use. Yeah. Yeah, model paint. Test, test your model paint or whatever okay. like that. So, who knows? Well, one of the main reasons is that we're uh, XDA, Maryland International Raceway, but this is your first XDA event it series. Is. A lot of guys don't come up here and race this. What's your opinion so far? I think it's awesome. The way they run this event is, uh, I would say, spectacular as far as for scheduling, um, everything running out of time, getting people from lanes, uh, actually getting a large amount of bikes down the track with virtually no downtime. So, I mean, I, I think there's, what, over 700 or 800 yeah. bikes on the Yeah, over 700, yeah. And, um, I mean, even with a couple of oil down the lace or whatever like that, it didn't really slow them down much at all. So, I, I mean, I'm impressed. I mean, especially when I'm getting woke up in the morning at 7.45 by announcing already. <laughs> and, I mean, it's just, it's great. This place is absolutely packed from front to back. And uh, quite a few spectators here are already walking around today. And um, I think it's awesome. I'm definitely making all of these for sure. Right. Now, and again, a lot of people I know say, well, it's, it's a long drive because I have to drive. And of course, I'm being facetious because me and you both live in the same neck of the woods, kind of. Yeah. People complain about driving six or seven hours. Mine's 13. 14 hours i'm usually goofing off but what was yours because you're a little further south in florida than i am well at present i'm hanging out with will yeah. arthur jones at huntsville dragway okay so that works. we came from huntsville so even uh google maps took me a little bit wrong on the way here so <laughs> we went through some really dark areas uh at night at like three o'clock in the morning one o'clock in the morning um so I went down some backcountry roads that you really don't want a 65 foot ring going down. But um, it took us right around 13 hours. Okay. And um, now if I was down in South Florida, you know, uh, this race I believe for me when I was racing PDRA was somewhere around about 17 and a half to 18 hours. And, uh, so um, my average race is like 15 to 16 hours. Okay. okay. So. I think Ohio's going to be my longest run this year with Man Cup. Okay. Um, that's going to be like 23 or 24, depending now. Uh, I think we have a Virginia race at XDA after that one or something, or Maryland again. So I'm going to stay up in the area. Okay. There's only a week in between them. So this year I'm out on the road a long time because um, I'm doing 15 or 16 races this year. Oh, wow. So uh, this particular time, I think I'm out on the road 27 days. Uh, I've got two more stints. I think I'm going to be out on the road either two and a half weeks or three and a half weeks. Okay. So How many XDA races are you going to try to hit them all? Every one of them. Every one of them? Every it's one. great to see them here, though. Oh, yeah. So it's, uh, <laughs> I mean, because the I think a lot of people, I mean, a lot of people hear it all the time, but the, the, yeah. the competition you have here is just, like, top shelf. I mean, it's unbelievable. Oh, yeah. I mean, so. only 24 bikes were in uh, 460 last night for the first round of qualifying, but I know 31 are pre-registered. So, and there was a couple people that showed up that hadn't been pre-registered. Uh, I know a couple people had motor problems in testing, um, so they'll be back out presumably today, you know, after fixing them yesterday. So, I, right off, I would anticipate we're going to have 34, 36 by the time final qualifying is. So, um, yeah, it's it's going to be tight. I mean, last night, I think the, um, I think the number one qualifier, uh, John Hall, was uh, 461 with a two or a four. Yep. And, uh, but I would say that uh, 
my guess is, looking at everything in the past, we're going to see the top six or the top eight, either 460 flat or 460 with a little number on the top. I don't know. Yeah. It's like, it's, it's, I mean, you want to, you want to test yourself. This is the yeah. place to come do it. I made sure I got in the field last night. You know, but uh, today is going to be tightening it up. Okay. So. All right, well, we're going to let him get back to work, even though he's just painting. And uh, I'm going to keep on doing my <laughs> typical JT walking around, moving stuff. But uh, I definitely want touch base with Spencer. We've known each other a long time. Yep. Outstanding racer, one of the best out here. And uh, we do appreciate you coming out and joining us. Oh, yeah, this is the place if you want to test your skills. <laughs> this is obviously the place. You've got a, you've got a huge group of racers. And, uh, yeah, they're they're tough for sure. All right, sir. Thank you for your time. I appreciate it. No problem. Thank you.